What is going on guys? So this video is a little bit different, but I am seeing tons of comments on the subject of people asking, how do I get into Alpha 1? How do I get into beta? What content are we going to see? And so on and so forth. Which is understandable. A lot of people watching these videos are recently new to Ashes of Creation and might not know how it works. So let's rip the band-aid off real quick with this one. As those of you who don't know, well, with Alpha 1, you can no longer get access to it. But that's not to say you will never be able to. The package that allowed you to get Alpha 1 access disappeared back in 2018, making the most recent testing to buy into being Alpha 2 from the highest cosmetic pack, which I believe is around $375 on the store. I can't actually see it anymore because I bought it and now I can buy the cosmetics individually and it doesn't show me the bundle prices. But there is hope because Steven has said that he wants to wait and see how the current Alpha 1 testing goes, which is said to have roughly 10,000 people in it. And there is a small possibility that if it goes well, he might let some more people into it, but how that would work is unknown. And I wouldn't really get your hopes up for that right now, because if that happens, it will be a long ways down the road, as Alpha 1 hasn't even kicked off yet. Otherwise, you can still buy into Alpha 2, or Betas 1 and 2, which don't currently have dates set, but you could probably expect Alpha 2, so sometime next year. So what exactly do we expect in Alpha 1? Well, we will see the hybrid action combat and tab targeting system hopefully come full swing, the ability to level up to level 20, which the level cap is expected to be 50 at launch, four playable races which are expected to be the Kalar and Veiloon humans, the Empyrean elves, and the Dunir dwarves. So we will have to wait a bit longer for those Tolnar, Nikoa dwarves, orcs, and Pyra elves. And roughly 20% of the map will make its way into Alpha 1 as well. We will also get to see the eight main archetypes of classes, but no secondary classes yet, but this will still give us a good feel on how those eight classes will play out, which also means those of you who are in alpha will be able to rock the dwarf bard, because everybody wants to play a bard and a dwarf. Then there will be portions of crafting and artisan classes, fully featured node and node progression up to village stage 3, questing, guilds, social organizations, the corruption system, trading, merchant systems, and more. For an early stage alpha, there is a ton put into this that can be tested from what it sounds, and the best part is there will be no NDA, so you will be able to find all sorts of stuff all over the internet covering Ashes of Creation to fill that void in your heart before it finally comes out. Alpha 1 will be dropping this fall, although no exact date is given, and again, this will be with no NDA, so there will be tons of content going out there for everybody to see. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited for to see out of Alpha 1. If you're new to Ashes of Creation and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.